what makes this state, what makes this region so beautiful is that there is still a bit of this left, that we have a chance to roam. 130 years ago, the Yer family homesteaded this land. Over the years, herding sheep and cattle, establishing a dairy farm, and most recently, managing beef. We're basically the gateway of the Uinta Mountains, um, right as you come up and over from Park City into Camas Meadows. Jess Kirby says Summit County recently put a down payment on this property, which came out of a $50 million bond the community voted on for open space and recreation areas. Owning a piece of ground for 130 years certainly brings a lot of family members into it. And as they're getting older and wanting to get out of the ranching business in this area, they approach the county. This 185 acre portion of the property called the North Meadows will be permanently protected, but the other 649 acres of the land are being considered for a variety of opportunities and the community can weigh in on what they would like to see the land used for. Keeping the rural feel of our community. Some of the ideas the county has range from community housing for teachers, firefighters, sheriffs and other workers to open space and trails and education and a museum. Will Hodgman says the goal is to just keep this land from being overdeveloped. It's an aquifer. Uh, as soon as the rain and, this, and the moisture comes down, it gets filtered through it and then it goes off into the rivers. Summit County will be holding an open house at the end of the month. The county is also taking public comment online. In Camas, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.